Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Spicy whites, or are they spicy? They, uh, they aromatic is maybe a more appropriate term for them. Uh, I've got three Gewurztraminers, but to start with, I've got a Scheurebe all the way from Austria in the form of Hannes Sabati's Scheurebe Classic. 2010 from Sud Steiermark, and Sud Steiermark is, uh, if you know your Austrian geography, it's a bit just over the border from Italy, so down at the bottom end. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc grows pretty well here, um, but uh, let's see what the Scheurebe does. Well, I mentioned Sauvignon Blanc there, and I stick my nose in there, and there's something, uh, I don't know whether it's uh, the, the soil or something, but there's like a flinty sauvignon -y type of character. Sometimes Scheurebe can be a bit... Um, bit almost too aromatic for its own good. It's like someone's uh, squeezed grapefruit in and then put some more grapefruit juice in and some more grapefruit and uh, and then forgotten to actually make it drinkable. But here it feels like, uh, yes, it's got the grapefruit and, and uh, lemon edge, but um, uh, maybe a little bit more of the sense of the soil about it than uh, uh, than quite a few Scheurebe's. Smells good. And it is a bit more grapefruity when you come to taste it, um, but um, what I, I will say in its favour, it's 11% it's alcohol. Now, um, it, it, so I, I looked at it and thought, well, 11%, have they picked it, uh, picked it late and left some residual sugar? No, it feels like it's bone dry, so you're getting this citrus, this lemon bite, uh, but then you have this sense of soil coming through, cleaning up the finish, and you're left with something that is crisp and, uh, uh, and fruity, and maybe it will be a little bit too sharp for some people, but um, other people will like it for precisely that same reason. Personally, I, um, I could probably drink a fair bit of that. Let's see whether I can say the same about Gewürztraminer. Actually, to be honest, the thought of drinking quite a lot of Gewürztraminer is something that uh, uh, I don't find particularly uh, a, a pleasing prospect. I mean, I like the, I like the aromas of, of, of Gewürztraminer, but sometimes the wines are either on the over-the-top uh, and have gone to seed and are just that little bit too flabby, or someone has tried to make them too crisp and you're ending up with something that's a bit anodyne. It really is a balancing act to, uh, uh, to try and get it, it right as a, as a wine. So let's see whether these three have got it. First one, um, when we're doing them in vintage order, first one is Nietlingshof from Stellenbosch in South Africa, and it's their 2011, weighing in at 13% alcohol. And it's classic Gewürztraminer. If you've got that in a, uh, a blind tasting exam, you'd be going, ah, oh, at least one I can do. It's got those rose petals, it's got the lychees, it's got that slightly candied character. And uh, is it too much of a good thing? Let's have a see. It's actually quite good. Um, uh, the touch of sweetness there, but not too much. Rounded, juicy, not too oily. They managed to extract the uh, uh, the perfumes, the, the and, and the, the little bits of flavour. There's a, there's a, a little bit of the orange in there, um, uh, maybe a touch of the peach too. But they've not gone over the top, and it's not gone into that aromatic, over the top oiliness. Um, there's a freshness about it. I'd be drinking it soon. I wouldn't. It's certainly not a wine that I want to keep uh, any length of time. But um, pretty good for Gewurz. Let's see whether the next two are pretty good. Um, the two Chileans. Uh, so the first one is Yali National Reserva Gewurztraminer uh, from the Colchagua Valley. Well, it's not as Gewurzy as the one before. Um, it, there's a little bit of the rose petal. Um, but uh, it's more on the lemon jelly style, um, and I find that, uh, I, yes, I, I, I was talking before about sometimes Gewurz can be a bit too floral. This is almost the, the opposite extreme, and I wish they'd almost got a little bit more, um, a little bit more character of the grape in there. The, uh, yes, I still think I would spot it as Gewurz premium, but not quite in the dead ring away of the one before. Let's see how it tastes. Nice bit of lemon. Um, and uh, but it, it, for me, it misses out on that that uh, uh, exotic or Turkish delight edge that was that was in the one before. And uh, so okay, but um, it, it, yes, I'm not going to say it could be it could be a different grape variety because it is Gewurz, it, it is Gewurzy, but uh, not Gewurzy enough for me. Let's see whether I can say the same about the last one, which is Gewurztraminer Reserva from Vina Leda in the Leda Valley. And uh, so the, those two were both 13% alcohol. This one is 14%. 
a year older. Feels like a year wiser as well. Um, it's not to, the, the first one was the one where the Gewurz really spoke. This one, the, the, the second one, was the one where uh, it was maybe um, uh, not enough concentration and not enough Gewurz character coming through. Here, yes, the Gewurz character is there, but it's more it's more laid back. It's more in the background, and the characters that are coming through. I don't know whether they've this has been anywhere near an oak barrel, but there's like a, a rounded, ever so slight, toasty, spent match character coming through. Almost as if someone has put some um, quite decent Chardonnay in there to, uh, uh, to, to round it out. It smells good and it smells like Gewürztraminer for people who don't like Gewürztraminer. And it's the one where I notice more of the soil than any of the other, th uh, any of the other two Gewürztes. There's this mineral character that's coming through. And um, yes, in terms of the Gewürziness, that is really, really way, way back in the background. Um, if you had said to me that that was um, a blend of Chardonnay with, um, may, maybe a Chardonnay Sauvignon blend, um, uh, I would have believed you because there's this mineral, uh, mineral tang uh, going through it all. Uh, there's the citrus, uh, there's a bit of the apple, uh, and maybe there is a bit of the floral character coming through uh, that, that makes you think it's not those characters, it's more, it is more, uh, sorry, not those varieties, it's, it's more uh, on, on something a bit more spicy and aromatic. But um, it's the most grown up of the, of the three Gewurzes. But uh, it's the least Gewürzy. Is there, so does that mean I don't like Gewürz? But uh, hey, uh, they were. I found it a fascinating set of four wines. Uh, the one I would be wanting to drink tonight. Actually, the ones I'd want to be wanting to drink are the first and the last. But uh, uh, neither of them taste like Gewürz because the first one isn't Gewürz and the final one tastes like Chardonnay and Sauvignon. Oh well, what is a boy to do? Uh, uh, maybe I'll just go away and have a little half glass of each. See you later. Bye.